Hey there guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I solo Terramorphous. Now the first thing you guys need to know is that I am playing Zero, and I am going to be using a weapon that drops off Terramorphous. So if this is your first time attempting Terramorphous, I'd actually recommend trying to find a group as it's much easier that way. Uh, but this is just how I farm them in my own free time. Now here's the weapon that drops off Terramorphous. Uh, if you don't have this weapon, you can actually uh, substitute out with the conference call, which there are plenty of videos on how to get. Um, however, I prefer to use this weapon because I am a sniper. Now the first key piece of gear that I'm going to be using is the bee shield. And I actually have a video on how to farm the bees, so you can look for that in the top corner. But what's nice about the bee shield is that it does 40,000 amp damage with zero amp shot drain. So that means as long as your shields are full, you're going to be dealing 40,000 extra damage on each shot. When you combine that with the pacifying pitchfork, which has this weapon effect mainstreamed, that means that it shoots 5 or 6 bullets for each shot. So 15,000 damage plus the 40,000 extra damage means that you're going to be doing 5 times 55,000 damage on each one of your shots. Now for my backup weapon, I'm going to be using Purging Infinity. I also have a video on how to farm that, so look for that in the top corner. What's nice about Infinity is that it has infinite ammo and shoots out rounds really, really quickly. So combine this with the B shield and it actually pumps out quite a bit of damage. Now if you don't have the Infinity, you can use uh, a similar pistol and that works just as fine. Now for my class mod, I'm actually going to be using this sniper mod here. It just gives me extra sniper crit damage and gun damage, so it's pretty basic. So let me show you my skills real quick. As you can see, I'm specced almost fully into the sniper tree. With only two areas that aren't fully filled up with points. I also have a little bit of points in the cunning tree, going a little bit down into rising shot because rising shot gives you an extra six or four percent damage for these two points. You can actually put more points in there if you want and take them from somewhere else. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to run over here and blow this horn which summons Terramorphous. Now you can actually see Terramorphous pop out of this gate. A lot of people don't know that. And there is Terramorphous. There he is. So what you want to do is you want to really quickly run over to this rock. And this, if, as long as you hide behind this rock that I'm about to show you, it'll give you cover from about three-fourths of the entire map here. However, you're not completely safe. He can still hit you with these giant flying rocks, and he can still hit you if he spawns right next to you and melees you. There we go, this rock right here. And you want to stay a little bit down, so because if you back up too far, he can still hit you with these projectiles. You can see right away, just pumping out rounds right into his crit spots. Mainstreamed, combined with the B shield, does a lot of damage. You can just see the crits, just the numbers just going crazy here. You see he threw a projectile at me, however, because I was behind this rock, he got blocked. Which is really nice. So now I'm just waiting. Oh, uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that actually this gun uses two rounds per shot, so it does run out of ammo pretty quickly, which can be a bad thing. And you can see he's already at half health, just uh, with about two or three clips of the sniper. So I switched to my infinity to take out a couple of these tentacles so they don't get too crazy. Okay, now you see he spawns right next to you, so what you want to do is you want to back up on this path right here, and he can't hit you as long as he's on this path. He can't melee attack you there. So as long as you do that, you should be safe. Now he pops up again, and I just shoot him in the face. And he's right close to me, so I can hit all six projectiles, or all five projectiles right on his face. And you can see here, he's dead. Uh, I actually finished him with the last round of my sniper clip, which was pretty convenient, but I had infinity ready to, for backup which I was going to switch to. And here's the loot. Now if you do run out of sniper ammo and you don't have a good backup, what you can do is you can run around and grab ammo from all the tentacles you kill. Just make sure you use your deception skill to draw his attention away from you so he doesn't knock you off the edge. So here's the legendary. He always drops a legendary class mod. Let me get that shield out of the way for you. And this time it's a commando class mod, not something I can use, but still nice. I'm just picking up some purple. So here's a explosive assault rifle some iridium. Let's see, are there any other purples around here? Ah, uh, here's a shotgun. Decent amount of damage. Not the best. Oh, here's a really nice caustic sniper rifle, actually. Uh, however, I do have a caustic infinity, so I won't be using that. Some more iridium. And I guess that's all the purples and oranges. So that's pretty much how I solo Terramorphous. It's fairly easy. I don't die very often. Now, if you like this video and you want to see more, make sure you like, comment, or subscribe, and thanks for watching.